Welcome to the basics of reds. Today I'm going to be taking you through how you lift someone's natural pigment and simultaneously deposit to get a nice red with a natural undertone rather than going fire engine red. This is my client Paige and she has a natural level 6-7 in her root and she has previous balayaging. Hi Paige. <laughs> Anyways, she is very scared about going red so she wants to go to a more auburny color. She's very scared of fire engine, bright gingers, bright, bright, bright reds. And so she's shown me this photo. And what I really like about this photo is that it naturally matches her skin tone, her eye color, her eyebrow color, and it looks really good on the model in natural light, so I know it's gonna look really good on her as well. These are important things to note when your client shows you inspo photos. Do their inspo photos have the same coloring as they do to their face and eyes? And if it still looks good then, then you know it's good for your client. So because we are formulating for a red color, we want to keep her underlying pigment in mind. So the colors I liked was a 7-57. I also really liked something that's a couple levels lower at the same color, which is a 5-57, as well as a 6-46. Now you notice that none of these actually have a dash 8 in them, which in the Schwarzkopf line, which is what I'm using, is a red pigment. She also is sitting at a level six to seven, which has more orangey pigments. Red can be so, so harsh when you actually add it into someone's hair color. So unless they are going for more of a fiery red, then I wouldn't actually add red into their pigment when you're lifting their natural color because their lift is gonna add vibrancy. And I'll show you what I mean. Here is an underlying pigment chart. It shows us what your client's natural level is and what should be underneath of their hair. Now, no one's actually at a level one, I should mention right now. Everyone's like naturally at a level two and higher. So my client is at a level six to seven, so that means her underlying pigment is like ready orange. So the natural underlying pigment in someone's hair is going to be very vibrant, and you expose that when you just lift their hair a smidgen. Lifting with bleach and lifting with color are two entirely different things. And what we're doing today is lifting with color to number one, keep her hair healthy. And number two, keep the color in there longer because bleach will spit color out and red really likes to come out, just so you know. So a quick refresher on what my client's roots look like. Now, if that graph was a little bit abstract to you, here is actual hair examples. Now, most hair color books come with something like this. This one's the one from Wella. I really like these because you can actually pull them out and show them to clients because it's a much more realistic visual to show them and they'll understand when you bump their natural color, this is what's actually underneath. So what I talked about with those formulations earlier, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't have some of those colors, so I had to improvise today. So what you have to keep in mind is when you're formulating with a red, not really to put a lot of red in the formula if you're going for more of a natural auburn color. You wanna formulate with chocolates. You wanna formulate with beiges, golds, and a little bit of copper just for some like warmth and shine underneath of the hair. A common misconception about lifting with color is that the hair is naturally going to lift brownish. It will not. Once that color bumps the brown out of your hair in that half level of lift, from then on you only see reds, oranges, golds, and yellows. So if you want any brown at all or natural color in your hair formula, you have to add it in because it's no longer there. So in my formulation today, I used a level 5-65, and that's a level 5-chocolate gold, and a level 6-46, which is a level 6-beige chocolate. These two mixed together, I used equal parts, about 7 grams of each, and then I mixed together equal parts of a 7 dash 55, which is a gold gold, and a 7 dash 70, which is a copper natural. Then I mix that with a 10 volume, and I'm going to have two separate formulas today. I'm going to have a 10 volume formula for the root area because I don't want hot roots, and then I'm going to have a 20 volume formula for the mids to ends because I do want to expose a little more underlying pigment and I want to add some more warmth and shine. 
So with her root being on with the 10 volume, it's not going to lift as bright as the 20 volume is going to lift on the mids to ends because also the root has warmth from the scalp, helping it process a little bit brighter and a little bit faster, which is what oftentimes causes hot roots, which is, if you haven't heard of that term before, it means that the roots are more bright and vibrant than the rest. And it really stands out and looks a little gross and it looks a little bit unprofessional. Here is my second mixture. It's basically everything that I mixed, but a bigger portion. And with 20 volume, I'm gonna apply that everywhere. You don't really need to see that. Here it is incubating under a plastic wrap. Now I do that just to make sure that there are no cold areas. I wanna make sure everything's warm, just a superstition of mine. And here is her final color. She has something that very, very closely resembles the inspo picture. And I'm very happy with this formula. Again, see how much red her hair has in it but yet there was no actual red in the formula there was chocolate there was beige there was copper and there was gold and there was natural and all those colors are warm plus her underlying pigment contributed so much so you need to keep in mind that whenever you formulate with reds to always add in browns if you need it to be more of an auburn color because your hair is not going to lift with natural brown. It's only going to lift with orange, yellow, or red, or gold. I've been doing tons and tons of reds lately. Some more of them are on my channel. I hope you guys go check those out for some more formulas if you like to see red formulations. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial today and as my two stars in a wish go my first star I'd say is my formula is pretty on point for the tone my second star is I love that I formulated a 10 volume for her roots and a 20 volume for everything else everything seemed so soft and it deposited really evenly and she has a really even result from roots to ends no hot roots here my wish is that I would add a tiny bit more level five just to deepen it down half a level more what do you guys think Make sure to leave some comments below and tell me what your thoughts are on this red formula or if you have any awesome red formulas of your own or any more tips and tricks for reds. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.